I got Netflix on the phone here. Perfect, I'm gonna set you down and talk shop. Listen, as you're aware, this is Adam from the hit channel, Adam Does Movies, and recently I've decided I wanna get in on some of that sweet Netflix coin. <laughs> I dab, you didn't see it, it was awesome. I don't wanna beat her on the George Bush. I'm gonna get right into some of these movie pitches I have for you guys today, starting with one I think you're really going to enjoy the taste of. First pitch I wanna throw out today is for a TV series titled Life of Pi. Now don't get that twisted with the movie that came out years earlier, a couple decades as a matter of fact. No, this is about a literal piece of pie. I'm thinking this runs a solid three seasons, pushing into a potential soft fourth and ending with a hard fifth. Life of Pi is the journey of the sweet sugary treat from creation to consumption. It's going to be a drama thriller with a heavy focus on family. Episode one would deal with the crust of the pie and by episode five we're in full blown baking mode. Season one finale would end with the pie cooling off on a ledge with the threat of a crow uh, potentially taking it out or a nosy neighbor who just wants to stick his fingers in the thing. <laughs> Second idea, a sequel trilogy to Back to the Future tentatively titled Front to the Past. The story here would center around Marty McFly's family, specifically his daughter, Maggie McFly. Essentially what we're doing here is we are just recreating the first three films, gender swapping, changing locations, but the beats are all the same. The, I don't like this, the arcs are all the same. Uh, it's just a fresh coat of paint. We're Force Awakenings this thing. We're, we're, we're Jurassic Worlding this thing, okay? It's easy money. And I always say, you know, the old adage, if it ain't broke, why risk it? I also think it's paramount to get Melissa McCarthy in this thing as Doc Brown's daughter, have her kind of take over the Doc role. It'll be very slapsticky, have her fall off things, ladders, fat women falling off stuff is always a fun time. I think we double down on that. The villain of the picture is the only one we're not gonna change the sex of. That's gonna remain a man because white men suck. We wanna push that forward in the script as much as possible. Really wanna make that a driving factor here. I think that's something the audience will appreciate from a Back to the Future film. The third and final piece I'm gonna leave you with today, although I have many more I'd like to pitch, is maybe my most controversial? I'm not really sure. But here's the deal. We all know that Cats, the cinematic, I'd say masterpiece, if I could go out on a ledge like a cat, didn't receive the accolades I think it deserved, and the main reason for that, uh, that folly was that it was meant to be a miniseries on Netflix. Yeah. Think Queen's Gambit, but with naked anthropomorphic cats walking around licking each other, dancing on rooftops, sexually making a lot of perverse comments, and really just shaking things up. And that's really what I want to do with this miniseries is shake things up a lot. And I'd like to bring back Taylor Swift. Uh, that'd be the only character I'd bring back because I thought she did a good job in that role. I'd love to see Taylor Swift's pussy again. The cat. I'm not hearing much on your end. What are the thoughts here? Jerry, what are the thoughts on my ideas? You like the pie. You like the pie idea? Life of pie? That's awesome. We got a picture then here? You want, you want cake instead of pie? You want to you follow a cake instead of a pie? You're, you're killing me on this, Jerry. <laughs> you're really bending me over on the cake thing, Jerry. Listen, it's pie or nothing. It's pie or I walk. Okay? And, and here's the new title for you, Jerry. If you can wrap your <laughs> around this one. <laughs> you. That's the new title for the show. <laughs> you. No deal, Netflix.